Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. You can see if you have been following our tutorial that we have a box that we can move up, down, left, right around the level. And if I press the space bar, it starts hovering in the air. So that's really great. But the next step that I want to do is I want Unity to tell me when I'm touching the floor. And this is important because later on we're going to switch from a jetpack effect to um, jumping. So in order to make that switch, I need to know when the box is touching the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the code for the box or my player. So you can see that I have a script called cube control. So if I edit the script, brings up my code and you should be familiar with this code already if you've done my previous tutorials basically you have the code for um, when you press the space bar it floats in the air and you have the code for when you press up down left right it moves the cube so the next thing I want is I want to record the position between the middle of the box and the ground so you can see here I have my box and let's have a look at the size of this box so the size of this box if I click on it and it says the position so if I reset the position okay when the box is at zero 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 um, half of it is sticking on top so if I bring the Y coordinate to 0 0.5 it is now sitting perfectly on the ground okay so that is the distance between the middle of the box and the floor is 0 0.5 because the height of the box is one meter so the distance between the center of the box to the ground is one is sorry 0 0.5 meters so let's put that into our code so let's go public float distance to ground is 0 0.5 meters so if you save that and if you play the game again you can see that I now have another property that I can change which is 0 0.5 which is the distance to the ground so how am I going to use that? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ray cast. So the code for that is called physics.raycast. And if you look up a look up the documentation for the ray cast, it says that it casts a ray from point origin in direction of length. Uh, so basically all it means is if I draw a little illustration. So we currently have a box which is our object. And what we're going to do is we're going to cast or create a line in this case called a ray from the center point of the box in a certain direction so you can cast it to the right you can cast it upwards you can cast it to the left however you want to cast it so what is the point of casting a ray is to see whether it's touching another object so let's say I have a person standing here and this ray touches the person then it's going to return a value of true because it's collided with something if there's nothing in the way then it will um, return a value of false so basically we're testing is something in the way of the line so you can cast it forward you can cast it in this direction but what we're gonna do is we're going to cast the ray downwards why are we casting the ray downwards? Because we have a floor below us. So if something, if the ray is touching the floor, that means that it is on the ground. 
okay because you can specify the length of the ray and we're going to specify the length to be 0 0.5 meters so what that means is if something is touching the ray it would be because it is within 0 0.5 meters of the origin and that would be the plane so that would be that it's that would be because it's landed on something so going back to the code I'm going to set a ray cast and so here are the um, here are the properties so if we go back to the um, if we go back to the documentation you can see that we want to know um, where the origin is so the origin is coming from our player you can see that the position of the player is the origin so I'm just going to put here transform dot position because that is the origin point and then I need to say which direction it's casting now it's going to cast downwards so the easiest way to get that downward direction is you if you simply just type vector three dot down and vector three dot down is the shorthand for writing vector three zero negative one zero negative one in the y direction means it's going downwards okay so now that we have the position where we're casting the ray from we got the direction in which we're casting the ray we need to specify um, how far is the ray going down so it's going down in this distance that we specified earlier distance to the ground and that's it that's enough to set array cars but what I want to do is I want to print the message to the screen debug dot log bracket and what it what this is going to do is it's going to tell us every uh, fixed frame so every however many milliseconds it's going to print a message saying whether my object is touching the ground so let's save that let's play the game and you can see that in the console down below it's saying true why is it saying true because there is something in the ray uh, in the way of the ray and it's touching the ground as soon as I fly upwards it says false okay as soon as I touch the ground it says true so yes this is working so the next thing I want is I want to turn this into a little function okay otherwise there's too much code so I'm going to run a little function called um, void is grounded and basically this just checks whether my um, this just checks whether my object is grounded or not so how do we check we obviously use this code okay we use this code and we simply put it here okay but what we're doing is we are returning this value so when we run this function we want it to return as an output whether it's colliding with the ground or not so I'm gonna type return now if I'm returning the output then this starting prefix is no longer void void specifies that this function is not returning an output so I'm gonna put here bool bool boolean means that it's returning a boolean um, value so here I can now just call the function is grounded and that's simply going to do the same thing as before but the code is a lot tidier because I can now call this function is grounded anywhere else in my code so let's run this um, game again and see if it does the same thing 
Okay, so it's returning true. If I press space, it returns false. Touches the floor, it returns true. So yes, it's working. I've created the touching the ground checking function. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.